today we will be learning how to use an RFID scanner with a Raspberry Pi 1. To start off with, we're going to want to connect the SDA to Raspberry Pi pin 24, which is GPIO 8. There we go, put that one in there. And then we're going to want to connect SCK to physical pin 23, which is GPIO 11. Next, MOSI, which is going to be connected to physical pin 19, which is also GPIO 10. Just get that one in there. Good. Then we have MISO. We don't use IRQ, so the next one we do is ground, which is GND. We're going to want to connect that one to a physical pin 22, which is GPIO 25. Sorry, to physical pin 6, which is GND. Next we have RST, which we're going to connect to physical pin 22, which is also GPIO 25. Yep, there we go. Finally we have a 3.3 volts, which we're going to connect to physical pin number 1. Which the 3.3 volt power. Okay, so for the next part of this video, we'll be using Putty to connect to our Raspberry Pi. So, so we're going to now type in my IP address. Um, mine is 192.168. Dot 11.46 Okay, so you're going to want to type in pi because that's the default username and then your password And we're in Okay, so the first command you're going to want to type in is sudo raspi dash config and hit enter and then go down to interfacing options and then click enter and then go down to SPI and hit enter and move to yes click enter and it will come up with that message you click OK and then you want to go down to finish enter then we're going to want to reboot the Pi by going through do reboot and enter. That will reboot. Okay, so now that our Pi has rebooted, we can start with all the fun stuff. So let's start with ls mod this line. Actually, I don't know what it's called, but let's do it anyway. Grep. And then SPI. This shows us whether SPI has been enabled or not, which it has been, as you can see, SPI underscore BCM 2835. So that shows us it has been enabled, and we'll go ahead and clear that. Next, we'll start with sudo apt dash get. Oops. Install Python dash SPI dev space. Python 3 dash SPI dev. There we go. And then go, hit, go ahead and hit enter, and that will install 
the python stuff that we need. It says the newest version already, so that's good. It means it's already installed. Right. Okay, so. Now the fun begins, so we'll go ahead and clear that. So it's just a bit of a clear screen. And then we're going to do cd to change directory so make sure that we're in the home directory and then pwd shows us the path of the directory we're in so we're in slash home slash pi so that's all good right now we're going to type git which is git clone https colon slash slash github.com forward slash l t h i e r y slash SPI oops right dash py dot git then go ahead and hit enter and that will get all the tools for the RFID scanner and then let's just check it's installed yep there we go SPI dash py that shows us it's installed Next, we're going to change directory into the SPI directory. So that's cd spi py. Hit enter. And we'll clear all that. PWG to make sure that we definitely are correct. Yep, there you go. That's our path slash home slash pi slash spi py. And then ls to show us all the files and folders that are inside that directory. We'll go sudo python setup.py install so this installs all our tasks oh sorry all our tools that we will need for using python with the rfid scanner there we go so now we're going to switch back to the home directory by saying cd and then click enter and then we're going to do pwd which shows us our path Right, now we're going to git clone, whoops, https, colon slash slash github.com. Slash pi my life up. Slash mf, in capital this is, rc. 522 dash pyton for python dot git and then go ahead and click enter for that it's all done ls to make sure it's done it yes there rfid we're going to cd into mf RC522 puts this into the directory we just downloaded. So there we go, we're in. And then we're going to ls to see all the files in there. We'll clear that. And double check the file path. Yep, there we go. It's all good. Right. So we're going to do sudo nano write.py and that opens a new python file that we're going to code. Right, here we are. So we're going to start off by putting import rpi.gpio as gpio and then we're going to do import simple mfrc 522 which is our rsid scanner and then we're going to do reader so this is defining the scanner equals simple mfrc 522 dot simple mf RC522 bracket bracket 
Right, now we're going to get into the main loop. So we try, colon, then hit tab. There's an indent, so text, com equals raw, underscore input. So this is getting the input for, for text that we're, we're going to write to the scanner. Then put bracket, um, apostrophe, then enter new data for writing, oops, misspelt, writing to card. And you're going to close the parentheses and then bracket and then enter and then have to tab again oops print bracket open quotes now place your tag to right then close your parentheses and your brackets new line hit tab Make sure that we're same intonation. And get reader dot write brackets text close brackets. And then we're gonna print open speech marks and then put data so writ was written successfully. <laughs> and then close your parenthesis and your brackets. And then we're going to do finally and then tab because we put a colon gpio dot cleanup bracket bracket. And that finishes our writing program. So if you do control x and then y, enter. That brings us back to this menu and we saved it. And then to run it, we do sudo python write.py or whatever you named your file. So now we're going to need to run the program that we just created. So to do that, we need to do sudo python write.py or whatever, of course, you called your program. Hit enter. And you can see it's asking us for the data. So I'm going to put hello world, exclamation marks. Hit enter. Now I'll place the tag on the reader. And as you can see, it was written successfully. Right, we'll clear that. Now we need to create a reading program. So let's just check the path again to make sure we're in exactly the same place as we were before. So type pwd, enter. And there we go. Yes, we're in the same path. So now let's create the program, sudo nano read.py or of course whatever you want to call it and hit enter which brings us into the new program. We'll start the same by going import rpi dot gpio as gpio and then the new line import simple mfrc 522 and then we're going to define the reader by going reader equals simple mfrc 522 dot simple mfrc 522 open bracket close bracket Right, before we make the main loop, we're going to make a couple of print statements as an intro. So let's do print, open bracket, close bracket, and then let's put inside the bracket, open parentheses, then put scanning for cards. And then close your parentheses, and then make a new line. Print. And then get your brackets and inside the brackets open parentheses to cancel we're just going to explain to cancel after reading because it will just infinitely go on 
easy to press control plus C to kill the program. Right, now let's start the main loop. So we start by going try, hit enter for a new line and then tab. So ID comma text equals reader dot read and then open brackets close brackets get a new line and print ID so we're going to be printing the ID of our card or tag and then we're going to print the text and then we're going to do finally new line and tabbed and then GPIO dot cleanup and open your brackets and close them again. Right, so we're going to save by going Control X, Y, Enter. Right, we're going to run, this, run the program the same way as we did before by going sudo python read.py. And you can see it's scanning for a card. There we go, and it, I just placed mine to the thing. 